All right, guys, I'm joined now by Dynamo head coach Tab Ramos. Uh, Tab, first game under your belt now. Can you just give us your initial reaction on how things uh, played out this afternoon? Uh, yeah, I'm, um, first of all, I'm you know, proud of the team. I think the team made a, a really good effort. I thought the first 10 minutes, uh, we looked a little bit nervous. Maybe you know, the crowd, the first game, you know, all those things uh, maybe made us start out a little bit slow. Uh, and that cost us have to fight from behind. So, um, yeah, so other than that, I'm, um, I'm happy with uh, what the team did today. Okay. Go ahead, Glenn. Hey, Deb, can you talk a little bit about the uh, defensive performance of your team, especially in that second half? Yeah, I, I thought it was good, but I think, I think of defending as, you know, our first defender is our, our most advanced attacker. So I think, you know, we started defending well from Mauda all the way back, and I think that's what helped us to get back in the game. Mr. Mata right here on the right. In English? Professor, yes, the status on Boniek. Do you know already the status, the medical status on Boniek? But, no, uh, no Boniek, as far as I know, he's fine, but he's being evaluated. Yep. Go Laura in third row here. Coach, what would you highlight that the, th that the team did well, and what do you think the team needs to work on for the next match? I think a lot of things. You know, we, we we pride ourselves and sort of built the team so that we can play the ball wide and get the ball open, so that we can have you know one v ones on the on the wings. And we did that a lot. It must have been 30, 40 times that we found ourselves in good positions wide. Um, we need to work on a little bit on what happens after because I think we we got ourselves in good position. We won the ball back on their half of the field many times, which is what we want to do. But I think our final ball was not was not a good one. I think our running in the box was not great. Uh, and we need, to, we need to move a little bit better in order to find the openings in the box. Okay, we'll come to the second row to Ari. What did you think of the, the crowd and the energy for, for the first game? Loved it. It was amazing. You know, so thankful that so many people came out to this game. I think it was a, it was a great atmosphere to play in. It was exciting. It was exciting for me to coach it. It was exciting for the players to play it. Um, so I think it was a great day. Okay, Jesus. <clears throat> Coach, what was the message at halftime? to this team because in the half they came out looking a bit more able to connect passes and you know move the ball better I, I really felt that after the first 10 maybe 15 minutes that we really were the team on the field that had had the ball and were going after the result um, so I felt like at halftime all I needed to do was let them know that you know we were doing well and to make sure that we don't have the first 10 minutes of the second half like we started the, the game uh, and I think the guys came in focused, and we, I think we picked up in the second half, we picked up right where we left off at the end of the first half. So uh, I, was really, I was really happy with that. Okay, we'll go to the back to Riley. Coach, we talk about nerves all the time with players. What were your nerves like before this game, uh, starting at a new club, your opening day? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, it's, I think, you know, you're, you're always a little bit nervous before big games. I think, obviously, it's the first game, so maybe, maybe a little bit more than usual. But I think any time you play a big game, there's always nerves. The players have them. The coaches have them. Everybody have. You know, it's normal. And, uh, and so I was, you know, I was a little bit nervous, but I was really excited, and, and I really enjoyed the experience. Okay, we're going to do a couple more. Dustin here in the back to Edson, and then we'll switch to Spanish. Coach, uh, all things considered, um, going down early, uh, Darwin and Albert not playing, um, how pleased were you with the team's performance and getting, getting a point out of it? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with it. Obviously, we want to win the game. You know, we're home. Anytime you don't win at home, you know, you feel like you, you're leaving something, you know, and that's something that we're going to have to get somewhere else, which is difficult. Um, but I'm, you know, I'm, in general, I'm happy with where the team is at this point. Uh, considering the absences we have, but sometimes, you know, missing players is an opportunity for other players, and they have to take advantage of that. And I think, I think a few guys did a did a pretty good job today. Okay, we'll do one final question in English with Edson, then we'll switch to Spanish. Coach, with the last minute injury by uh, Jose Bisama, what can you tell us about tonight, uh, today's performance by Zarek Valentin? I, I thought he was great. Um, you know, he he might have been one of our one of our best players today. He did a great job. He stepped in. You know, he has that kind of character already. Uh, this is one of the reasons that we went after him right away, um, because I think you know the thing about Sarek that's a little bit special is, you know, he came in uh, to play right back, but had we put him in at center back or left back, we pr we probably would have had the same effort. And he's always ready to play, uh, and he certainly showed it today. So I'm uh, excited about that. Okay.